Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Age of Decadence. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very, very happy to have you here as I explore more of this pyramid. We're finding, this is, this is I think the ground zero here. This is where they made the, the gods, let's call them that. Can I open the door from in here? No, I can't. Okay, so yeah, I need to use my lockpicks to open them from here, but it's fine. It's fine. We killed the Scolopendra last episode. That's pretty amazing. It went very, very well. We also found out a lot about how the gods were created. A, an actual retelling of, uh, a retelling of, uh, or actually a telling, not a retelling, but a telling of, uh, by the first of the Magi, of how the Cantari apparently planted the knowledge about creating the gods and then used them as weapons against the Empire. That makes total sense. Makes absolute sense, but yeah. I got a metal casket here. I wonder what that's for. It doesn't seem to have... I don't know. You see a strange metal casket standing upright. You recall a tale of a caravan master once told you. The demon summoned by the Cantari could not be killed. Neither could, no, neither cold steel nor fire could harm them. So one by one they were captured and locked away for good. Could it be? Well, let's find out. I guess I have the quick save right there. Open the casket. You open the door and recall in horror as the light reflects off a dozen, a dozen eyes staring at you. It takes you a moment to realize that you're looking not at a demon, but at a strange, almost grotesque set of armor you've ever seen. Um, the helmet reminds you of the Mermillo helmet, but it's perfectly round and much bigger and heavier. There are 16 eye holes covered with thick glass, suggesting that the helmet is in immovable. Such armor would be worse than useless in combat, yet it was crafted with great care and precision. I think it might be a diving suit. 16 holes with covered in thick light. It might be a diving suit, but I don't know. It could be else. Hmm. There is a single word engraved on it. Aegis. Let's examine it. Remember an old tale of a giant called Aegir, who uh, had such a terrifying visage that even beasts and monsters dwelling in the darkness, co darkest corners of the world were afraid of him. Thus, he could, uh, could travel freely where no man... Or no, where no other man, not even the greatest of magic, could follow. Can I take the armor? What? Let's see. It is. It is a diving suit. It is a diving suit. That's... It, well, it's a helmet anyway. It's heavy as hell as well. I can take it, but... Yeah, let's equip the horrors mode. Right here, because I have the um, strength one. Okay, I have a diving suit now. I wonder what that is for. Oh, that's amazing. I wonder... I really wonder... Well, that's gonna allow me to um, get through poison and whatnot, but I don't really need that, I don't think. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I can't... I, let me see. Let me unequip this thing. Let me equip this thing. I can't use that right there. I can't, yeah, I can't use this. I can't use that armor. So, as cool as it is, I can't really use it. So, let's just uh, keep this all over here and keep exploring. Man, there's a, there's a thing here. I see that. I see that. It's gotta be a secret passage. There's gotta be something in there. Or maybe there's not. Who knows? We got chests up here. We're gonna find a lot of treasure in here. That's gonna be amazing. I hope. Uh, okay, so a hidden metal box. This one's intricate, rusty metal box contains a well-preserved scroll. My name is Quintus Valerius Corvus. I am honored to report that this that it is my destiny to bring glory to the Empire. I know this for the Senate memorandum assigned me, uh, assigning me to this project use these very words. The smell of my crucified predecessors lingers in my memory, reminding me that failure isn't an option. Common sense tells me that success is equally not an option. The insane goal of my masters will not and cannot be achieved, and when the powers that, uh, be, that be finally realize this, they will ascribe their own failure to incompetence on my part. Though I may not preserve my life, I will keep these notes both to reiterate my sanity and protect my good name. So, Quintus Valerius Corvus. Man, I wish I remember that name. Just, guys, Google that right now. See if you can find a <laughs> Wikipedia entry on that. I'm gonna Google that as well and see if I know what something... Uh, probably, that's that's bad for me. I don't want to spoil anything. I don't remember this name. I remember the Corvus names, but I, I, I might be mistaken there. I was told that the construction of Alakai was completed only two years ago, but the pyramids is 
The pyramid is plenty much older than the other buildings. The Kentari are not every are everywhere, like an infestation of desert worm. I do not like them and I do not trust them. I have made my opinions known to the High Magus, but he is buried in his research and ob oblivious to everything else. Apparently he cannot generate sufficient power to enact his mad scheme, which lends me to s the slight hope that whoever anointed this insufferable ass, High Magus will one day find himself removed from his head by a very sharp blade. In any case, the High Magus now sends, spends his days scribbling theoretical or nonsensical to, to the layman geometries theoretical geometries, and consulting with a Cantari. Imagine an Imperial High Magus sitting down with half-naked savages who paint themselves with blood. Disgrace upon disgrace. Yeah, that wasn't really the problem, to be fair, but it's it's understandable that he says that. High Magus and his imb imbecile imbeciles built uh, have an... What? Is it? The High Magus and his imbeciles built have managed to assemble some contraption on top of the pyramid, and without a single one fall falling to his death, more the pity. Uh, when I more is the pity, or is it more is the pity? I think more is the pity. When I asked him what it was, he said the answer would be too much for my fragile mind. I considered that any mind would seem fragile under the blow of a war hammer, but I will save my wit for the report to the Senate. Predictably, the first two attempts were utter failures, generating not so much as colored spark. The High Magus walks more quietly now and speaks softly. He even appears to be avoiding me. I have begun to the a first draft of my findings for the Senate, but I must be careful not to show how gratified I am by this catastrophe. One more week and I will give him one week to tighten the news yet further. It worked! The blasted, thrice-accursed, misbegotten war of a machine worked, and it would have been my greatest triumph if not for the meddling of those knuckle-dragging primitives. The High Magus told me, me, a Legatus, to oversee the installation of a fail-safe device as if I were some lowly mechanist. Uh, I delegated the tasks to the Cantari chief, our translator, the only man other than the High Magus fluent in the abrasive tongue, uh, had expired from the sting of a desert insect the week before, so that some few details may have been miscom miscommunicated. In any event, the barbarian grinned at me with his filed teeth and assured me that my will would be done. Obviously, the device malfunctioned. Truth be told, I suspect that all I knew, uh, I suspect that they all knew it would not work. This trivial about a failsafe was like as not a ploy to shift the blame to me. And the power surge turned the three champions to charcoal. I... I... I think whatever gods the Magus is praying to that he hasn't... that he wasn't there to see it. I had a few of my personal slaves key, clean everything up and replace the erstwhile champions with three soldiers under my command. Take note, dear reader, of the difference between a leader and a talker. I made this project work, and when we ran into a problem, I found a solution. And unlike the great and mighty Magi, it didn't take me years to do so. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Magi thinks it worked. But this guy switched the guys? It killed them? What? What does that mean? So it were unwe they were unwitting three. <gasps> oh, but that explains it. That explains it. Okay, so it's three because it's the three that stood on their side, because the other guys were chosen. Maybe I think I I think I'm thinking this correctly. The, all all the guys, all the uh, carefully chosen, just whatever gods, the guys that would be would be infused with whatever technology they were conjuring up. All of them were supervised by the Cantari. This guy, this guy, might have won. Might have won the Empire the war, or I. The Empire won the war, but that's. I mean, in that regard, that might have won them the war because they kept three of them. One of which is still around, but we'll see that later. Uh, well, actually, the, the guy at the bottom of the abyss might have been another one. I don't think that's the case, but might might have been. I probably wasn't. It probably was, though, no, actually, yeah, it probably was, because otherwise the Cantari, it's like the Cantari attacked Madaran and almost killed him, and whatever, so, yeah, anyway, let's leave. That's amazing, it's amazing, I love the lore in this game. Okay, can I go in there? Okay, so the staircase is collapsed, it doesn't have anything. It's very tough to see in there, because it's very dark down here, I don't, I don't have torches, don't have torches. Uh, so let's see, nothing here, oh, looks like a... Little cooking place. Yeah, this is like a, the barracks here. Or the cantina, whatever. 
Again, I don't know the name. The, the where you eat, basically. Uh, so we have nothing else. Yeah, seems like we have nothing else. Man, this was really worthwhile. I enjoy this place. I enjoy this place. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty amazing. So let's keep looking around. I don't really know what I'm doing down here. I'm just gonna kill the guys upstairs. Likely as not. Just gonna. You guys, shut up! I hate you so much. <laughs> And here's the Scalopendra that we killed. I can't go to the other side, I don't think. Not from here, anyway. Should be able to... Tr yeah, there's, a, there's other passages upstairs. We should be fine. Uh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Okay, so this is locked, but we don't need to go there. So this is where they made the gods. And this thing, I wonder what that is supposed to be. I really don't know. Okay, let's see what this is. Strange glass column. A wondrous column made of thick green glass and filled with liquid. An aquarium to calm one's senses? There's six of them. Are there not more? Only six of them. Why? Why wouldn't there be seven or nine? Because there were nine. Were there nine or seven? I don't remember. I think there were nine demons and seven high lords or whatever the guys that, that they made. It's all the numbers. The numbers kind of make sense, actually. Now that I think, remember the guy in Ganazara that said, talked stuff about the numbers? Yeah, it might be that. <laughs> Oh, that might have some clue. That might have some clue to understanding exactly how this how this goes. Anyway, you're standing in a large chamber, barely lit by dim, evenly spaced wall lights. You have a feeling that these are emergency lights, requiring very little power. This complex appears to be in good shape. The strange tanks and machines still intact. Let's explore. Oh, it's this thing! It's this thing! We've seen this! In the vision! The seven sarcophagi. Sarcophagi. That's Latin. Sarcophagi. I don't know, sarcophagi? I, I don't know Latin enough. Uh, so yeah, this is where they were made. Can I make myself one of them? Is this where I make myself one of them? Why would there be this? Why are there four of them? What's that supposed to mean? Is that the pyramid or something? Is this the bottom, the bottom of the pyramid? Eh. Uh, what is this? What is this? Well, there's naked ladies lay, asking for... I Yeah. Uh, so we got control system on the other side. We have the two staircases leading upstairs. Let's go here first, though. I don't want to see what that is. I could have seen that if I had moved my camera. I didn't, though. I think I could have. I didn't. It's a good thing that I didn't, because I, I, pr I prefer that finding right there. So that's the gas column that we found. The glass column that we found. That's the strange device. There's another one here. What is that green glow right there? Can I go in? Is there going to be another Scolopendra? I can kill another one with these. Got a door here that I can open, hopefully. Let's see, save the game just in case. Oh, it's weird. It's, it has two, two symbols. The door is badly damaged, hanging off its hinges. Unfortunately, the opening isn't big enough for you to crawl through. So... Let's give it a push. I fail, but it's okay. Can I use this instead? Hopefully I can. No, fail. Damn it. Hmm. I, I want to go in there. I want to see what is in there. Okay, let's save the game. Let's bring our alchemy up. Because that's the only way to get in there. Five. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Nothing a proper charge won't fix. Let's, oh, it was enough. A shaped charge goes off and the door swings open. Behold the power of science. Let's go in. Behold the power of science, bitch. Uh, okay. So, oh, okay. So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to reload that save. I don't want to have that much alchemy. Just want to see if there's lore up here. There is something up here, although I might as well find... Yeah, it might, it might be about, about to find... Where? I think... No. I don't know where I am right now. I was going to say that maybe we're at the top or, uh, the upper levels of the pyramid, but let's see. You see human remains. Nothing but gnawed bones and a strange tool lying beside them. It looks like a flat wooden club with evenly spaced blue steel inserts running on both sides. Let's examine it. It's neither a sword nor a club, yet it's clearly a weapon of some kind. It will take uh, some getting used to, but you can probably use it as a saw? Just leave it alone. Oh, I'm not good at that? Or is it not interesting enough? Huh. Okay. Well, it's, uh, I'm doing this for you guys, so you guys can see if we find a saw up here. For five alchemy, but that's good. Because there's my safe. Let's get out of here. Let's explore that, that place where they made the gods, man. What's that? What did I just see? What's oh, a strange tank right there? Okay, it's more good. 
Yeah, let's see what this is. I'm gonna go walk into there and see what that central chamber is all about. I'm pressing the wrong keys on my keyboard as well, which is never good. Let's see. You've seen this chamber in one of the visions. Yes, I have. The visions you have experienced while exploring the abyss. That's where the ritual took place. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I was kind of wondering. I was going to say that may... I wonder if the game is going to remember that... Um, that we have seen that before. But what am I talking about? This is the Age of Decadence. Of course it is going to remember. I mean, it's not, of course. There have, there have been a few places that have now since been fixed. But there have been a few places where the game doesn't really account for, for some things that we have done, like Antidus Death, for example. But that's been fixed, that's been patched. So let's see what we can do here. It's the most complex control system you've ever seen in your travels. Judging by the low humming sound, it still has the power to change the world. Well, I can't do anything with it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Could this be it? My glove. Three power tubes, damn it! Could this be the. I don't have the power tubes. It still has the power to change the world. I, I need I need to remember that. I don't wanna. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna discover that power glove right there. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna need another power tube. I don't know what the power glove is for, though. That's my problem right there. Is I don't know what that is for. Maybe it's for something here. But I need to get out of here. We need to get. What? How exact? Where exactly do I need to go? To be fair, am I missing something here? Cause I'm not missing anything. There's not. There's no exit here. Yeah. Let's see, those. This is not. Come on, get in there. Yeah, these are not operable. So we just need to get out. I can go outside. Okay, so let's get out and let's see what I am gonna tell them. I'm not gonna tell them. Uh, tell them anything about this though. I don't really want to. Uh, I don't want them to control the world. I want to control the world myself. Oh, they're all dead? No, some of them are dead. Climbing up proves to be much more challenging than going down. Oh, yes, you don't say. The steps threaten to break off and trigger a sand avalanche that would bury you in seconds. Man, that is... That, that would be a... Bad. That's just awful. You, I, yeah, I hate that. <laughs> I hate the notion of that. It's bury, being buried alive. Yeah. You move slowly and by the time... Oh, I have the... Actually, that wouldn't be... I uh, wouldn't be an immediate death because I have that um, helmet, but anyway. You move slowly and by the time you reach the surface, the sun is long gone and the sky is dark. No, it's not, but anyway. The very first thing you see is the bearded floor master's dead eyes. His body is lying next to the tower, his unblinking eyes locked on the pyramid. The hacked up body of his, bodies of his colleagues, your men, and Aurelian legionaries are strewn around. By the looks of it, your men account accounted well for themselves, but the odds weren't in their favor. In the distance, five Aurelian legionnaires are tending through their wounds near the campfire. Wait a minute! Did the Aurelians attack? I'm gonna kick their ass so hard! The legionnaires are wounded. Three men have removed their armor and should go down easily, should you choose to attack. The darkness makes it easy to slip away. Your brethren will remain unavenged, but uh, you will live, which is a big plus. After all, you dying with them won't make any anyone happier. No, yeah. <laughs> Go back to the pyramid. No, I'm st I'm staying here. Yeah, I could actually. That would actually make sense if I rested down there. I don't have provisions though. Um, but yeah, resting down there would be a way. They wouldn't be uh, unless they blocked the passage. Yeah, I don't know. This is <laughs> well, I. I'm gonna attack, of course. Oh, oh. So these were the guys. Okay, so where am I right now? I'm here. That's fine. So we have ranged characters. Oh, this gotta be easy peasy. Easy peasy and you know the rest. Lemons. Squeezy. So how am I gonna do this though? Am I gonna just move up and uh, tank them? I think I am. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, that guy's a bow. That guy's got a uh, Scramavax, whatever that is. The guy's got a javelin that hits me for zero damage. This guy, I block his. Yep, we're all good. It's gonna be easy. Should be should be easy anyway. So this guy's got a Lorca segment item made of iron, from what I can tell. That's defense rating of seven. So I'm just gonna switch to Apis. Never forget that. I'm gonna attack him twice in the face, or maybe. Let's see. Let's see a, a couple of regular attacks. Yeah, th this guy's very easy to kill. Uh, one of that right there, and then switch to Horus, and I'm gonna move around because I wanna. I don't want. I wanna poison them as much as possible. It was 15 damage right there. It wasn't even a critical. Okay, that was 5 damage right there, and his armor is reduced by 1. It's fence rating anyway. That's good, because he's gonna die. 
Uh, okay, so they're now together. So this means that I could switch to Apis and go with a Whirlwind here. Uh, how many can I do? Couple? Okay, let's do a couple. That's good. Okay, so maybe let's not do a couple. Let's switch to Horus. Push this guy away. Because I... No, actually, he's almost dead, so I might as well attack him. Uh, so let's go for the head. Switch to Apis. Just in case I don't deal enough damage. Oh, actually, that was a chance to miss, but I didn't miss because I'm a badass like that. So this guy is going to stay there for a little bit. This guy's got a shield. Look at him. Yeah, they don't have armor, though. That's their death. Yep. That was six damage, then seven damage, then five damage just by me standing here. Yep. Badass. Badass. This guy is dead. Did he die with a poison or did he just die? I don't know. Anyway, Apis, this guy. Let's see. I could... Yeah, let's... A couple of regular attacks. That's one right there, and another one. Oh, they're really weak. Look at them. They're almost dead. This guy is really weak anyway. I'm, I can't say anything for the other guys. Yeah, they're almost dead, both. Ouch. Was 10 damage right there. This guy's dead. This guy is trying to run away. He took zero damage. Shooting me. It's okay. I, can, I will kill you. I will kill you. Don't you worry. You're in safe hands, man. You're in safe hands. Let me attack you with a fast one. Another fast one. And another fast one. He dodged a 2% chance to dodge. Okay. Well, this guy's good. Switch to Aorus. I was wearing... Was I... Did some little damage. It's all because of the... Yeah, I was attacking the armor. But he's dead. <laughs> Just fell death. De fell dead on my... Uh, in front of me. So, hi. How's it going? Okay, he's running away. It's all good. It's all good. You're gonna die nonetheless, man. You are so dead right now. You don't even know it, do you? You don't even know it. Yeah, perfect. Just awesome. Not flawless, but awesome. So that's a newbie's rise. The balanced one, a newbie's is the one for healing. And there we go. <laughs> dead. Everybody dead. And I have so much stuff to take with me, even though I have n absolutely no need for it. But they are all dead. Let's see. I don't. I don't really need to loot the bodies. I'm gonna leave them here. I can come back if I want to. I got steel here. That's nice. That's steel. Yeah, that's nice. What do we have here? Steel. It's iron, as I thought. Actually, I thought this was iron and it was steel. Yeah, I should I should this is iron though. Lorica Hamata. Hmm. It's a nice one. Nice one up there. I think it might be the best crossbow equally equal to the other the other one that we saw before. Uh by Hector. Where by uh, worn by uh, Hector's goon. Uh, so this long bow is very nice. Yeah, it's good. Let's switch to um, Horus. Yeah, let's see what we have here. Lower Master's hood. That's the male one that I've never been able to wear. Never been able to find either. Uh, Lower Master's turban. I don't really know. I at the beginning of the game I got oh as as Kato I got confused. I didn't really know what I was doing with uh, in regards to the hoods and whatnot. It's a nice tower shield. Is it normal? It's a nice one. I don't think it's as good as mine, but still pretty good. I mean, look at that. Armor penal penalty of 0 to each chance penalty. Uh, it's terrible. <laughs> to each chance penalty of 15. Awful. This one is a little bit better. It's to end yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good equipment here. That's for sure. But that battle was terrible to kill, uh, to, to get around. I mean, if you don't have a proper shield and proper blocking, there's you're never going to be able to kill anybody. Uh, but yeah. That, that was pretty cool. Uh, so let's see. We got a cavalry shield. We're all good. There's a lot of stuff around here that I'm not going to loot because I have no need for it. And that is that. Nobody's going to know. Well, I'm going to... Well, somebody's going to know. Uh, oh, so that means if we hadn't convinced them to... Oh, okay. So if we haven't convinced the dude at Care Tour that... Um, that, uh, you know, to bring the legionaries, then we had to have to fight these guys all by ourselves. So that made... Pretty much no difference apart from the money that we would be able to get from this, but I don't need the money, so we're just gonna get out of here. And we're going, yes, to Ganazar. I just pressed them and he told me. I didn't know if I needed to go to Ganazar or to Gertor, um, but uh, a thing that Glavgad, I think, told me in the comments is that I shouldn't tell anybody, or I shouldn't tell Polos anyway, about what is really down there. So, yeah. You realize that things went horribly wrong when you returned to Ganazar. You see a multitude of campfires and tents, Aurelian standards flying above them. Oh, I think this is my doing. I think this is all about the uh, the priest and whatnot, whatever, and the lord upstairs. Yeah. 
An attack on your expedition was one thing. The Aurelians were always touchy when it came to ruins and magic. But laying a siege to Ganazar is an entirely different story, signaling a major escalation and willingness to prevent House Crassus from poking, poking in ruins ever again. Okay. So I th I read the line, break the siege of Ganazar with the Flying Fortress on the internet. I hope I am okay. Hmm. I hope I'm okay. So, yeah, a shroud of smoke ar about the base of, of the hill marks the ordered chaos of a military camp. The purple banners snapping in the unforgiving plains wind proclaim this sea of tents in the domain of House Aurelian. The siege of Ganazar has begun. This is not the same siege, or is it the same siege? Oh, it is the same siege. It is the same siege that we saw as Klepta, that we never saw as Kato. Oh, cool. So, let's watch the camp. The local 40 Thieves chapter is notorious for its smuggling operations, so you get comfortable and watch the camp approaches uh, to the city. On the third night, you spot several barely visible shadows carrying what looks like crates. One by one, they disappear into the ground to the left of the Aurelian encampment. Smugglers, just the men you want to see. Oh, I'm gonna get into the Thieves Guild. That's not good. I'm gonna die. Let's follow them. You read? Yeah, yeah, you reach the... <laughs> You reach the spot where the smugglers disappeared and look around. Since you know what to look for, it doesn't take you long to find a hidden hatch. You open it and see a dark passage smelling of dampness and moss. And death, as well. My death. I don't know. I've been kicking a lot of ass. But, yeah. I know where I am right now. <laughs> Option. Fight. It's all good. It's all good. I can take him. I can take him. You follow, the, you follow the tunnel for 20 minutes, feeling your way along the wall, when suddenly the wall ends. You take a few steps forward and suddenly several torches light up the room. You find yourself standing in a fairly large underground chamber cut out of the rock, surrounded by grim-looking men who proclaim who, who probably misunderstood the purpose of your visit. They attack you before you get a chance to say anything. Okay. I uh, Am I the one? Okay. Prepare to die, they say. Well, let's see. So you guys are thieves. That means you're all gonna die. That's the thing that happens to uh, people that um, you, you want to kill me. So, let's see, we got two range here. What is this guy having right now? He's got a little uh, net, so I need him gone with a quickness. Actually, I, th I don't know right now what I want to do. So if I move there for eight, I'm gonna be able to attack. I don't really know, I want to attack him to be fair. So let's move in here and let's attack. Uh, no! I misclicked! Oh, damn it. Gonna load that because I misclicked. So at the beginning of the, of the, uh, of the, of the, uh, combat. So it should be okay, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. Anyway. So here I am. I'm gonna go there. Because I want to attack that guy. Uh, because he's got a blade. I don't want him to make me bleed. So I'm gonna go with a regular attack right there. Forgot the app is, but, yeah, whatever. Two damn. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I forgot the app is. It's kind of a bummer. This guy's running to run away. He's taking two damage right there. I block that like a boss. Okay. This guy's gonna do that. I really didn't want that to happen, but he's not gonna come next to me. Yeah, that's the bleed that I really didn't want to happen. That was a block. Okay, so this guy's very good at hitting me. He oh, actually, he might not be because I have the, the thing there. But I'm also very good at hitting him. So, since he doesn't have that, ma that much uh, damage re resistance... I'm just gonna work him, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna work him with my fast attacks. Didn't kill him yet, but that's all good. Switch back to Aurus, we should, yeah, we should be okay health-wise. Especially if we keep blocking. Just five damage so far, it's all good. This guy's not gonna get anywhere near me because I'm that badass. <laughs> this guy's saying you don't look like much, he's almost dead. He's almost, oh, he hurt me again, I think, yeah, he's, he's pretty good though. He's pretty good, okay, I'm not bleeding anymore. Let's go to Apis. A uh, fast attack there. And he's dead. And I move here. Or move here. Yep. Oh, I still have that thing. Okay, so let's attack him once. And then switch to Horus. And attack him again. He's got four weapon, uh, four damage reduction. That's, that's good. That's good. The net is going to be a bit of a problem. But if it disappears next turn, we should be totally fine. Oh, he's shooting as a, on his own mate. Okay, so that's good. He, he's good to go. So he's got four damage reduction. I think I might as well go with that. Uh, let's see. So attack him once for eight points of damage. Nine points of damage. Seven points of damage. That's good. Switch to Aurus. Uh, 
So that's eight per attack rather than five. So that's pretty good. Okay. Ouch. Three damage. That's good. And that was not a good attack for him. He could have done way more damage. I just blocked four. I don't know. I don't know how I only blocked four because my armor is blocking eight. I don't know. That might have been like a grazing or something. I don't know the game. I don't think the game has that. But anyway, this guy's going down. Yeah, yeah. I'll get to you later. I'll get to you later. Don't you worry. And right now I pull in here. Switch to horrors again. Come on. I ain't got all day. No, you don't. You don't have all day. You have like a couple of turns at best. So let's see if you have two turns. Because I might kill him right now. Oh, actually, yeah, I forgot that he moved back. It's good. It's a good move, though. It's a good move. But I also have good moves here up my sleeve. So let's attack him in the head a couple of times. That's 14. No crit. That is that has reduced his accuracy. He is badly wounded, but not dead. So if he runs away, I think he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be attacked by my attack of opportunity there. Let's see. Yes, for just three damage. And I blocked that thing. Perfect. Now let's attack him again. Although if he's almost dead, I was badly wounded, so... Oh, nice, man. Oh, okay. Well, it's gotta be like that, huh? You gotta be tough, huh? Well, you don't have all day, but you also don't have that many turns. We'll see how many. So, third turn that he got. This one. So, move in. Switch to Apis. Go for the head. Just keep working like that. And now he's dead. No, he's almost dead. That's not okay. That is not okay. Let me attack you with a regular attack and see what happens. Uh, he dies. He dies instantly and slumps to the ground. He's already slumped to the ground, but it's all good. Let's switch to... Um, yeah, I didn't do that. I should have, but... I really should have. So let's switch to Horus. Let's... Actually, let's switch to Apis here. Attack him once. That's three damage reduction. That's pretty good. He's trying to run away. I attacked with a regular attack. That was my bad. Really didn't mean for that to happen, but I did. So let's go with a regular attack. He dodges that. Again, a 2% chance dodge. Hmm. They're happening all too often. Not sure how I feel about them. Yeah, 7, seven damage per, per attack. Oh! Oh, I had... Did I bypass a turn? I think I bypassed a turn. I think I had... A, oh, that... I think I had a free turn right there. Pretty sure I did. Okay, so he's gonna die either way. It's all good. So, yeah, we're also at the end of our allocated time for today. So... Okay, yeah, well, I'm gonna continue this on the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been the Age of Decadence. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. And, um, I, uh, yeah, I, I think, why am I, th why am I mixing up my outro again? Anyway, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it all the time. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say, or if you have, like, a tip or whatever. Just say hi, and, uh, well, I hope, I, I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.